Hello, hello everybody. This is Henry from Fun Game Reviews. Coming to you guys to talk a little bit about Landslide versus Wolven Fiend. I get a lot of questions from you guys regarding a Landslide and a Wolven Fiend. It's basically you guys constantly ask, like, who is the better tank? All I can say right now uh, is that Woven Fiend is one of the more overpowered heroes when it comes to tanking. Literally, the nice thing about him is that um, Woven Fiend, you only got to really use his skill once. If you want to change him to attack, you really have to only use him once. So... The, the benefit of Woven Fiend is that you don't really have to use too much rage. You know that once you have him deployed, you're pretty much set. You're pretty much golden. He starts off as a tank. You don't have to worry too much about him. He's already kind of set up without doing too much. You guys can see that I have I'm a Virgo and he pretty much can tank pretty darn well when it comes to uh, fighting in like Battle Square Coliseum, he just does not die. He he definitely survives a lot more. And the reason being is you definitely get him to a level 25. Okay, at level 25, damage reduction by 80 percent. You can't get dispelled. Literally, you're you. He has like a berserker type status on him 24/7. You don't have to make any freaking changes you don't even use rage that's the great thing about it then uh, the next thing about him as well as he taunts surrounding enemies once every 15 seconds that's almost like you're using uh he's taunting and he he's kind of like a landslide and the great great thing about it is you don't have to use rage literally this guy is one one pack punch you don't really have to work too hard on him. You don't have to do too much. As long as you give him uh, level 25 active skill, he gets that 80% damage reduction. So then what people are doing is they start uh, putting into hero dodge rate. As you guys can see when it comes to talents, he already has, literally already has, 80% uh, damage reduction. You can put in a Berserker in him and he's already over 100%. You don't need to put anything that does damage reduction in talents. So people go into dodge. So now you make him a dodge plus damage reduction. Literally just makes it super invincible. It is awesome and amazing. So another thing too what people do is uh, in enchants, like kind of like me, I'm currently uh, investing into HP. I invested into a little bit of attack. I invested into more dodge. So that means just the dodge from talents plus the dodge from here. I, I equate to about 35%. It's literally amazing. Look at this. On top of that, you want to get that extra damage reduction? Yeah, easy peasy. Just focus into damage reduction. Literally, he does not even need or require a Berserker because he himself, as long as you invest a lot into uh, damage reduction and dodge, literally he could be 100% damage reduction and he could also be uh, like 50% dodge. Just like that. So when it comes to Woven Fiend, he is one super tank that really survives all the way through. Uh, you, plus, don't don't forget, guys. Don't forget, you want to equip uh, this weapon on on him, which is the Dragon Heart. Heroes equipped with Dragon Heart have a 33% chance to restore 11% max HP after dodging an attack. So, with, this is why it's great. You have the enchant really maxed out. If he's at 100% damage reduction, then all you got to do is focus on that dodge. Every time he dodges an attack, he will heal. Okay, he's going to heal. If hit 20 times, the hero also gets a boost that increases dodge rate by 22%. So anybody like Abyss Demon or another Wolven Fiend where you're just constantly getting bashed down, yes, 
he gets additional dodge rate which makes it so much more awesome guys literally just makes it so much more awesome so that's that's the review for woven fiend on uh, when it comes down to who's the better tank okay tank wise yes he really does tank really really efficiently but here comes a landslide landslide is another one of those amazing heroes all I can say is I currently do not have him uh, actually set up at, with like enlightenment but those guys who actually have him enlightened oh my gosh they are godly like literally he is a supremely godly when it comes to that as well so make sure you guys also look into him a little so basically when you guys see him with uh, enlightenment you guys will definitely be able to tell why landslide is just as good all right so basically you guys can see my landslide is just uh as powerful because uh he is actually able to tank pretty darn well as well but every time you use his skill he actually heals himself by 20 percent all right it's 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 actually pretty good he does not rely on that dodge to heal all right, another thing is increases damage reduction by 60% and reflects 100% damage taken for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, 100% damage reflected. That is insane. All right, also increases damage reduction of all allied heroes by 85% for three seconds. When you need that extra little oomph of that dodge, I mean, uh, not dodge, damage reduction for all your heroes because they are in a tight bind and need to make sure that they survive. Definitely, he is one of the top-notch heroes, okay? He not only heals, he can uh, make it so that all of them gain that extra damage reduction so that if you guys have Berserker Aids on all of your other heroes, literally that's 100% damage reduction for 3 seconds also reflecting 100% of the damage taken for 10 seconds ridiculous okay and that's only that level 20 so let me let me do the review this way uh, because like you guys can see the full on uh, basis for for him uh, so let's go check it out right now so few so right here uh, let's go down like insight okay let's just say if you had him at level 16 you had that insight landslide will explode on death dealing 400 percent attack damage to all surrounding enemies and hurling them away so literally it explodes and does like that massive pushback just like the guild bot okay landslide also splits into four mini landslides each inheriting 90 percent of landslides hp Mini slides taunt surrounding enemies and explode on death, stunning enemies for six seconds. Literally, not only do you explode and stun them the first time, you have four little mini slides that can also do the exact same thing. Imagine, I have seen people with landslides that are uh, pretty strong when it comes to enlightenment because their HP is over 1 million. 1 million, okay guys, it's not a little bit, it's 1 million HP landslide. Think about that. 90% of that, that means you would have four miniature landslides all at 900,000 HP, okay? That's what I'm talking about. That This is why a landslide is currently considered a little bit better than Woven Fiend if you have him enlightened, all right? So another thing too, guys, when you guys use a landslide in your team, he is also considered burst. Let me tell you why he's very bursty. Because when you use the divine stomp, if you see like all of the enemy heroes very low in HP, if you do the divine stomp and they have a Pangoli hero aid, it doesn't even matter. It completely ignores uh, the Pangoli hero buff and just completely wrecks them okay it literally just ignores them and proceeds anyways that is the great thing about him that's why i love landslide like dearly and you guys see that he's always in my main lineup and my wolf is in the bastion 
because Landslide, he helps me with my burst team. He basically makes it so that I know that I can like just explode, use all of my skills like right off the bat. And just expect once I do that Divine Storm, everybody that was already low on HP, they instantly die because they don't have that chance to even move. Okay, they don't have that chance to like do anything because they literally get stomped. They get put like punished because that not only are they stunned, now they're vulnerable to just getting wrecked and walked through. You know, because they they don't have a Pangoli aid to really help them to that survive that extra amount of time. So you guys can see right here, removing their buffs, including Blood Ages and Immortality. I'm at level three and it does that, all right? Level three, it doesn't even, look, even at level one, it does that. Removing their buffs, okay? So trust me, it is amazing. At Pisces, he stuns them for seven seconds, guys. That is ridiculously amazing. All right, so he heals himself just like Wolven Fiend when it comes to dodging, but the difference is you can use that heal more frequently even though he's not, like Lancelot's not being attacked. All you gotta do is use that taunt skill and you gain back that 20% life, okay? I'll go look at it at like a level 25 for instance just because my lance uh, because my woman fiend is at level 25 I want to make sure I do like a fair judgment so here lance light toss surrounding enemies and heals himself for 22.5 percent HP uh, five five more levels doesn't make a big difference it really it, it doesn't seem like it does increases damage reduction for like additional five percent. Reflex 100% damage taken for 10 seconds instead of the instead of the seven I think I had at level 20. Oh no, they're all level for 10 seconds. Never mind, they're all 10 seconds. Also increases damage reduction of all allied heroes by 90%. Okay, 90% compared to 80%, uh, or actually 85%. Eh, not a big difference. It's like 5% more. It is a lot more pricey too. When it comes down to it, it is all about that price uh, price tag. You know, that, that's a lot more rings just for that little bit of boost. All right. Let's just pretend you did have him at level uh, 16 and you could basically get a level 30 uh, active skill. All right. At level 30 active skill, he heals himself for 25%. Increases damage reduction 70%, reflex 150%. It's not even the normal 100% damage. You're actually doing 1.5% more damage back to the enemy than they're actually hitting you. So that's so much stronger, guys. Literally so much stronger. All right. And then uh, keeps everybody uh, under the damage reduction spell for 90% to kind of give everybody that extra boost. So, for me right now, Woven Fiend is amazing uh, for like the following modes. Colosseum, he's amazing. Battle Square, he's amazing. Okay, and on top of that, when it comes to uh, defending, for those of you guys who have amazing walls, like level 30 walls and stuff, yes, Woven Fiend comes in handy. But if you do have both Wolven Fiend and a Landslide in your defense line, you will 100% slow the enemy down. You will 100% annoy the heck out of your enemy, especially in Guild Clash. I've actually seen it and I've actually encountered it where you fight both a Landslide and Wolven Fiend together. And holy moly, they are just freaking horrifying together because it's like you're hitting a brick wall and it's just taking forever to take them down um so for me even though tanking is great i i like to make it so that i kill the enemy so it's not just tanking the enemy so i hope you guys enjoyed this review this is landslide versus woven fiend this is just the talk about the differences I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share down below. And let me know who you still prefer, even after listening to this review. Thank you, guys. Have a great one.